The attempted capture of the Marisk, Alabama, and the attack yesterday on the Liberty Sun off the coast of Somalia are just the most recent reminders that we have to act swiftly and decisively to combat this threat. These pirates are criminals, they are armed gangs on the sea, and those plotting attacks must be stopped and those who have carried them out must be brought to justice. This week, the State Department is taking four immediate steps as we move forward with a broader counter-piracy strategy. But let me underscore this point. The United States does not make concessions or ransom payments to pirates. What we will do is first send an envoy to attend the International Somali Peacekeeping and Development Meeting scheduled in Brussels. The solution to Somali piracy includes improved Somali capacity to police their own territory. Our envoy will work with other partners to help the Somalis assist us in cracking down on pirate bases and in decreasing incentives for young Somali men to engage in piracy. Second, I'm calling for immediate meetings with our partners in the International Contact Group on Piracy to develop an expanded multinational response. The uh, response uh, that came to our original request through the Contact Group for nations to contribute naval vessels uh, has turned out to be uh, very successful. But now we need better coordination. Uh, this is a huge expanse of uh, ocean, uh, four times the size of Texas. Uh, so we have to be uh, able to uh, uh, work together to uh, avoid uh, the pirates. We also need to secure the release of ships currently being held and their crews and explore tracking and freezing pirate assets. Third, I've tasked a diplomatic team to engage with Somali government officials from the transitional federal government as well as regional leaders in Puntland. We will press these leaders to take action against pirates operating from bases uh, within their territories. And fourth, because it is clear that defending against piracy must be the joint responsibility of governments and the shipping industry, I have directed our team to work with shippers and the insurance industry to address gaps in their self-defense measures. 